Hi students, welcome. Today class we are discussing about what is the difference between a standard cycle and actual cycle. So a standard cycle is nothing but ideal or otherwise theoretical cycle. But actual cycle is practically or experimental cycle. So first we discuss about one by one difference. So first thing, in a standard cycle, the working fluid it considered as air. But in actual cycle, not only air, the working fluid is considered air and fuel mixture. For example, in petrol engine, it is nothing but SI engine, air plus petrol, air fuel mixture. For example, in diesel engine, it is air and diesel. So, that air fuel mixture. So, that is one. So, as standard cycle means air only, it is a working fluid. But in actual cycle, air and fuel mixture, it is a first difference. Next thing, the composition it is constant in a standard cycle because air only no so composition is constant but in actual cycle air fuel mixture so the composition is varies so it is varies at every instant for example practically we are uh, ride the vehicle okay for example two wheeler okay so we are not ride that uh, vehicle at same uniform speed okay so, while given that accelerator or otherwise by given that uh, brake that is decelerate. So, whatever it may be. So, the air fuel mixture because for example, if you are given that accelerator, okay, it gives more fuel that is not, nothing but rich mixture. Similar case for braking or otherwise some ups and downs variations, okay, the fuel air mixing mixer composition is varies. So that's one. It is a second point. So one second. So in the composition of air, it is constant in a standard cycle. But here, the composition of air fuel mixture is it's not constant. It is varies at every instant. That's one. Next, the third point is it is the air as standard cycle. So therefore, the air CP CV value. It's nothing but specific heat at constant pressure and volume. It is constant. Um, but here in actual cycle, it's not constant. It is every time it is varies. Okay, based on that input, like that. So that's one. So CPCV, specific heat at constant pressure. You know that standard values. Okay, how much kilojoules per kg Kelvin. So that values are varies in actual cycle, but it not varies. It is constant in a standard cycle. That's one. It is a third point. Next to fourth one. The a standard cycle is, let us consider it is reversible process because it is theoretical. So it is a reversible process for every completion of cycle. So you know that the so four important process, for example, in auto cycle or diesel cycle, okay, in thermodynamic process to uh, isentropic process and either it is a one constant volume and one constant uh, pressure in diesel cycle or otherwise two constant volume in auto cycle, you know that. For example, once again, so isentrophic compression process, let us consider first auto cycle. So first one, isentrophic compression, 1 to 2, you know that PVTS diagram already last class as we are discussed. Okay. So 1 to 2 isentrophic compression, 2 to 3, heat supplied at constant volume, next 3 to 4, <coughs> isentrophic expansion and 4 to 1, it is heat rejected at constant volume. So, therefore, two isentrophic process and two constant volume process is there. Clear? So, for initial point 1, okay, after completion of 1 to 2, 2 to 3, 3 to 4, again 4 to 1. So, for every cycle, the values are same. Not only 1, even 2, state 2, state 3 and state 4. For every cycle, that pressure value, um, temperature value, okay, everything is remains constant because let us consider it is ideal so theoretical so it is sub cycle cyclic process is reversible but practically it is not possible so you know that in universe for all the practical oriented cycles okay the cycles are irreversible only clear we are not able to regain that initial states while running that's one so fourth point is the standard cycle is reversible process and actual cycle is irreversible process that's what and next point is here clearly mentioned so 
<coughs> so ideal based on that ideal gas equation PV equal to MRT are valid in each point but it, it is in a standard cycle but in actual cycle not valid in okay that ideal gas equation same number 4 and point number 5 it is similar only okay because the PV equal to MRT that uh, equation is valid at each and every point ideal gas equation is nothing but it is every every cycle it is same means reversible cases only it is possible but in actual cycle it is not possible that is a important point. Next point okay so in a, in a standard cycle no loss of work okay during that work there is no losses takes place. But in actual cycle, losses, number of losses may occur, okay. So for that reasons only, okay, in a standard cycle efficiency is greater than actual cycle efficiency for any thermodynamic cycles, either it is R2 or diesel or so on, whatever it may be, okay. A standard cycle efficiency is higher than actual cycle efficiency because let us consider there is no loss of work, therefore we get the maximum work when compared to actual cycle therefore maximum output divided by heat supply that is nothing but a standard efficiency that is one. So therefore maximum work we get reason is there is no loss but in actual cycle in practically it is not possible so it occurs various losses and next point similar to previous one. In a standard cycle not consider all the losses but in actual cycle we want to consider all the losses for practical oriented. So what are the various important losses are there you know that time loss that is time loss factor next one is heat loss next exhaust blow down rubbing friction okay pumping losses so on. So, in a standard cycle, there is no losses takes place. They are not considered the, all the losses. But here, in actual cycle, we must consider all the losses. Then only it is possible to practical oriented. That is one. And one more thing, you know that, uh, in clearly they mentioned in TS diagram. Okay. So, the isentrophic compression process, isentrophic expansion process is nothing but, what is mean by isentrophic? Already you know that. Isentrophic is nothing but there is no transfer of heat. But in a, a standard cycle, let us consider it uh, for example, during isentrophic compression 1 to 2, T1 is, S1 is equal to S2 in TS diagram. Similar case, during isentrophic expansion 3 to 4, S3 is equal to S4 in TS diagram. So, as standard cycle, let us consider isentrophic compression and isentrophic expansion is nothing but there is no transfer of heat. When it is possible, if for example, the engine is fully insulated, then only it is possible. But we practically, we are not able to insulate that one. Okay, We are not able to prevent the transfer of heat in the metallic surfaces. Definitely, it is a nature transfer of heat. So, therefore, actual cycle, definitely that heat will be transferred from system to surrounding, surrounding to system. Therefore, entropy S1 is e not equal to S2 actually and similarly S3 is not equal to S4. Entropy is not constant actual cycle but as uh, standard cycle is constant that is what. In as standard cycle we assume cylinder as insulated but in actual cycle it is not possible definite heat transfer just like previous point. Okay. And next thing, in a standard cycle, combustion is taken as instantaneous at constant volume in auto cycle or constant pressure in diesel cycle. So, it is nothing but combustion is taken as instantaneous at constant volume or constant pressure in auto and di or diesel cycle respectively. But in actual cycle, the progressive combustion of mixture, that is a very important point. Clear? And next, another two differences based on that indicator diagram. So here, here clearly they mention the PV diagram for both a standard cycle and actual cycle for both the 
auto and diesel cycle diagrams clearly one by one. So, let us consider all the previous differences points everything is combined together they indicated in a simple in diagram simply in diagram ok. So, here you know well so suction and exhaust it is a constant pressure line already you know the previous videos also videos like uh, classes ok. So, the basic four thermodynamic process uh, isentropic process constant volume and constant pressure process respectively for auto and diesel cycle and apart that four process ok. The suction and exhaust is technically additional processes takes place during suction constant pressure and during exhaust that also constant pressure it is a technically additional processes apart that two isentropic process and uh, two constant volume in auto cycle or otherwise one constant volume and one constant pressure in diesel cycle respectively that is what. So, let us consider. So, in the in uh, PV diagram clearly they mention first one a standard cycle. So, the diagram is ev every corners are sharp edge because every states 1 to 2, 2 to 3, 3 to 4, 4 to 1. Okay. Here the 0 to 1 and 1 to 0 here they are not mentioned. Okay. Let us assume it is horizontal line okay. that one initial pressure section and exhaust that is one. So, without any losses there is uh, no tra transfer of heat between the system to surrounding and surrounding to system constant speed of the vehicle constant uh, mixture okay. everything is let us consider remains constant assumptions. So, therefore, the PV diagram is for auto cycle they we get the sharp edge for 1.2, 3, 4 points etcetera that is all. But in actually there is no sharp corners everything is it is make some curvature it is made some fillet points ok. And one more thing. So, in as standard cycle already we discussed the as standard cycle efficiency is higher than actual cycle because the suction and uh, exhaust is it is nothing but it is a straight line there is no loss. So, it is straight line only that 1 to 2, 2 to 3, 3 to 4, 4 to 1 process uh, that that is that much area of indicated diagram is nothing but work. But here in actual ok. So, it, it gives two curves two set of curves. So, that is one clearly go through that. So, one is suction next one is uh, the curve it forms a yeah, fillet end and again it forms one more finally. So, starting to ending ok. So, the top portion that one ok work ok and here one more that loss of work. So, therefore, the difference between two works that is called network. Okay. So, therefore, finally your output is when compared to a standard cycle in actual it is less only. Therefore, your overall efficiency is reducing when compared to a standard cycle. It is for PV diagram for a standard and actual cycle and next one diesel cycle PV and PV diagram for a standard and actual cycle you know that same thing clear. So, this is the reasons for actual cycle is purely differ from a standard cycle. For solving the problem we are consider theoretically only ok. So, everything is considered as a ideal fixed one, but practically all example we are going to buy one new vehicle new two wheeler. So, they mention in 80 k MPL 80 kilometers per liter that is the mileage of they put star what is mean by star condition supply ok. So, the condition supply the 80 kilometers per liter they clearly the bold it is visible even from long distance also we see that uh, advertisement it is clearly visible, but the star is very small ok it is condition supply ok. So, what are the conditions ok not only men machine ok everything you can want to consider clear yeah. ok students go through that for any doubts please contact me ok thank you students.